how to create curved spray streamlines in Clip Studio Paint. The two blue groups of lines were created on layers via the Stream tool. I want a fresh document, so go to the Edit menu and Clear. The key panel for this tutorial is the Subtool Detail panel, so go to the Window menu and Subtool Detail. All the panels have been minimized, so go over to the Color Set panel and expand, and then select the color black. Go to the Tool panel and then expand that and go to the Figure tool. The Figure tool comes with many tools, so go to the Subtool panel and then select the Stream tool. Select the first tool in the panel, that is the Scattered Streamline tool. As I'm always changing my tools, I'm always going to the right click and revert command to put it back to the factory settings. To change the settings for the tool, go to the Sub Tool Detail panel. Go to the Streamline category and go to Destination Layer and select the second entry, which is to create a new layer each time you apply the tool. To curve the streamline, click the Make Curve. Go to the Angle setting and set it to 90. The lines will then be applied downwards. Go to the Brush Size category and change the brush size, make it fairly thick. Go to the Drawing Interval category and set the Gap, make it around about 10 so you've got some nice gaps between the lines. You can make your lines look more like a spray via the Spraying Effect category. Click the Spraying Effect to On and then go to the Particle Size, set the value as required. You can see the result in the preview. You can also increase or decrease the particle density. The result can end up looking quite like charcoal. Go to the document and then draw from left to right and that will generate a whole load of lines. If you go to the layer panel you will find you have a new layer, a streamline layer. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see the design a little bit more clearly. Sadly the streamline layer is not interactive, you can't modify it via the subtool detail panel. However, you can modify it if you hold down the Command or Control key. You will then see a bounding box, you will see a blue line and you will see a red curve. The lines are initially straight, but you can curve them. That's the great thing about that Make Curve command. You can also add points as well as remove points from those curves. The blue line is less effective than the red. The red line can be used to really curve the design in all kinds of different directions. Select the end point of the red line and then drag it off to the right and you see all the lines will follow it off to the right. You can also use the bounding box to crunch in or extend the lines outwards off the document. Subtle changes to the bounding box and to the red curve can create all kinds of amazing lines. You can also use the bounding box to reposition the streamlines by selecting the edge of the bounding box. You can also go back to the red curve and then select the first point and then drag the lines off in a different direction. You can use the red curve to move the lines back and forth, but you can also use the bounding box to rotate the lines. The streamlines are just a layer, so you can always flatten the layer. You can also duplicate the layer but you can also change the color and you can do that via layer properties. Go to the layer property panel. Go to the effect entry and there you will see a layer color as well as border color as well as tone. Go to the layer color entry, click that and the color of the layer will be changed and you will see layer color and sub color. Go to the layer color entry and on the right side you will see a little arrow. Click on that and that will display the color settings panel. Decide on a colour for your layer and then click OK. I'm going for a very garish green. Go to the effect entry and then go to the border colour option. That's the first item. Go to the border effect entry and set to edge. Go to the thickness of edge, set it to one or two pixels. Go to the edge colour. Initially it is set to white. Go to the right side and click that little arrow. The colour setting panel will appear, change the white to black and then click OK. You have a single layer of sprayed particles in green with a black edge. As this is a layer, you can add additional layers, you can duplicate the layer. So go to the layer menu and duplicate layer. You can't see any difference. 
Well, there is. There's two layers now. So go to the Layers panel and select the top layer. To change the colour of this layer, go to the Layer Property panel. You don't have to go to the Effect Entry because, of course, the layer colour is already visible. Go to the Layer Colour Entry and go to the right side and click that arrow to bring up the colour settings. Set the colour to purple and then click OK. You can also change the border settings. Go to the thickness of the edges and change that. Increase it perhaps. You still can't see the lower layer. So go to the command or control key character and hold that down. And then you will see the bounding box as well as the curves. You can use the bounding box to rotate the design. Go to very close to one of those green dots and the cursor will change to a rotation. You can now rotate the design. You can also increase or decrease the size via the bounding box. Go to the red curve and select the first point and then drag the line around to change the direction of the stream. You can continue to manipulate the curve in multiple ways to create all kinds of really stunning designs. You can of course duplicate the current layer to create even more layers. If you want to create a different spray setting, you'll have to create a new layer. You can't just duplicate the layer to do that. You can also change the opacity and blending mode of the stream layer via the layers panel. You can rasterize the layer so you can convert it to a normal layer which can be used with the filter menu and wave and blur etc. Hope you have found this tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Clip Studio Paint so please subscribe to the channel. Also please add some comments as well as a dislike or like. Thank you much.